Let's do some solar experiments today. That long shadow has convinced me that's what we'll work on. Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Today I wanted to show you that you can easily solar ignite punk wood if you darken it up first. You'll definitely have to darken it if you're using weak solar igniters like a tablespoon or the bottom of a beer can. And with your wallet for now lens, you can get away with not darkening it. But as you can imagine, it would be a lot quicker, a lot easier if you darken it. I, I just use char material out of my hobo stove. Here's a big charred area in the, in the sawhorse. That's probably what I'll use to darken it. Do not believe it when people tell you that you can polish a can up with a chocolate bar or with toothpaste. There's nothing in nature that you can find. There's nothing that you're gonna find normal pack carry that will be a polishing agent to put enough shine on it, to put a mirror finish on it, like this polish does. This is Blue Magic Metal Polish Cream. It's about $10 at any auto parts store that you wanna to go to. See that dull bottom? It won't be that way for long. There I am behind the camera, upside down. Let's shine up the tablespoon. Now, let me show you how great they work. Of course, they're gonna work just fine on charred cloth and charred punk wood without having to do anything to it. But uncharred punk wood, it's so light, it's just gonna reflect that heat if you don't darken it up. And here is my punk wood. Good punk wood is soft and spongy. You squeeze in on it and it springs right back out. Now yeah, let's get some of this char right here. today so we'll do the best we can do. This is a solar collector. It's collecting photons and when those photons get to a tight circle right in the center then they're projected back out about a half inch or so into a tight focal point. The more you can stand the spoon up straight is usually better. And this is 1130 sun with a misty sky. It feels like it had ignited right there. I don't think it's gonna do it with that sky as misty as it is. Let's go ahead and try the bottom of the beer can. Once again, you'll find it on your finger first. Right there, whoa, that's good and hot. That instantly started smoking. put that down there it's just gonna blow off the table anyways crush up some of this punk wood right in the middle Tell you what, I'll get some char cloth and we'll try this spoon again. It should, the extra darkness should make it ignite.
Find it on your finger first. Right there. When that focal point gets very, very bright, you know you have ignition, which I hope you can see how bright that is. That is the focal point reflecting off that ash. It's getting hot. The wind is using it up. Now let me reset the camera. Like I say, when it comes to weak solar igniters, you'll have to darken that punk wood up or else use something very black like char material. Get some good shades, get some good char cloth, polish up a spoon, a can, anything that has that bowl shape. And get out there and practice with solar ignition. Do me a favor now, before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. I'm going to see if I have enough coals there to go ahead and stoke that fire. We'll catch you on the next one.